So in this video, we are continuing with load testing because it's awesome. And this one specifically focuses on authentication because probably your service has some sort of authentication where the user has to log in and it can be a pain in the ass to set up. So let's just, let me just show you how it's done here. Nice and simple. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you should do that because this one doesn't cover the fundamentals. This just builds upon the previous one. Um, I've extended my server a bit, so I have two new endpoints. One that um, logs the user in, and here I just return the string as a token. You probably have a more sophisticated login system, like a JWT or something. Um, but anyways, this shows how it's done, so it can apply to any solution out there. I have another one called secret. Well, this secret endpoint has a middleware and it basically just checks if the user sends along the correct token because if it doesn't, then it'll respond with a 403, not locked in. Otherwise, it'll just move along um, with this next function. So what that actually looks like is, let's see, I have a login, returns JSON, I have a secret, which doesn't allow me to, to go there. So in my locus file here, it's similar to last time, but it's a bit more complex because we need to first log in before we can do any requests. So what we're gonna do here is we need a variable to store the token in. Um, and to do that, we need to make this constructor and it looks a bit scary, but it's just basic boilerplate that I found on their documentation. Um, so the important thing is here that we make our own variable. We call it token. We start it as an empty string. As before, we have a wait time. That's just random between one and two seconds. And this one is new. Um, we override the method call on start. So this is the first thing that uh, this HTTP user will do before starting to make any other requests. So we are gonna do a client that get to the login and we're gonna get a response. In the response here, we pass it as JSON. Oh, sorry about that. And we get the property called token. We store that token in our self.token variable. This means that on any um, tasks down here, we can access the self.token and um, our service here, it wants the authorization uh, header to be this exact token. So that's what we're going to do. So we pass in first the UL and we pass in the header with a property of authorization and then the token up here. So this should actually work. Let's just try it out. So if we go locus, file, Locus to Pi, that's all we need. We can go to our interface here. And let's start with five users right away. Localhost 3000. Let's see. Wait a minute, do I need to, probably need to specify HTTP 55 HTTP localhost. There we go. All right, so what we're seeing here is we got five users and we made five requests to log in and it stopped there. So when a user gets instantiated, it'll make the request to log in and then it'll proceed and do whatever we told it to do, like access this secret endpoint. All right, so that is basically it for authentication. Um, yeah, so I'm going to end the video here.